it's called. Goodwood Festival of Speed 2018, 25 years celebrating Goodwood. It must be such an honour to be here. Oh, yes, I'm truly honoured. Uh, we're coming up re representing the Northern Off Road Club. Absolutely. Uh, we brought a Warrior Rivet made in Yorkshire. Yeah, of Bullet course. to the big to the Yorkshire. <laughs> and it, it is truly an honour to be here in such a fantastic setting. A worldwide famous event. We've brought a car, we're doing what we love. We're great people. It's so well organised. Um, Rip Power done a great job getting this all together and thoroughly enjoying it. It's a fantastic weekend so far. <laughs> Hear them are having an absolute ball of playing out there already. We've got loads more to come. Uh, but Brian, the people who are here are all people who are notable from the history of off-road motorsport with vehicles that have really made their mark. Uh, for you, long-term off-road history, where does it all start for you? Oh, absolutely. When I were at college, uh, I got into Land Rover racing with the Pennine Land Rover Club. I used to read about the, the people like Bruce Tigwell, I think his name is. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's had a little bit to do with it. Yeah, uh, yeah. The likes of Guy Smith and Andy yes. Sargent. I read about these people. Now I'm on a level with them. You yeah. can call them my friends and my peers, and it's, yeah. it's, it, really it's quite unbelievable. It is really special. And I think that's what's so lovely about our sport. An off-road motorsport, when I use that term, it covers everything from trialling to uh, cross-country to the ultras, everything. But the one thing we've still got is a real baseline where everybody knows everybody, everybody talks, the pit saw is open. It's really special. It's true. It's all encompassing at every level, everybody's welcome. The field, as I say, is a great leveller. You could be a multi-millionaire or you could drive a forklift truck. Everybody gets on together. And at the end of the day, if you're all in it together, you have a great time, great results, and a great experience in life. Beautifully put. You've also brought with you a car, so you had a bit of a chill last minute change of cars. We did, yes, sir. <laughs> We had a problem, we were setting our engine up on the rolling road and it, the ignition system blew due to a, a, an unauthorised upgrade on our ECU. Oh, yeah, keep and, quiet. Uh, Robin Clarkson from Warrior Off-Road stepped in at the last minute. We are teammates and we've just uh, brought his car. It's the first time I've drove it. Uh, I drove it from the pits and put it here and then took it out and raced it. Mm. Robin Clarkson, again, that's another name. All the way, it just threads through off-road motorsport history. It does. From, from uh, just a competitor, started building cars. I mean, he was one of the ones out in France navigating donkeys years ago. Knew what he could do to improve it. And one of the things we've always said with off-road motorsport, it is, it's a real home of the, the Fred in the Shed, the birth in a barn. But it is true British engineering at its very best. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there they go. <laughs> yeah, we don't go over to France. We're trying to yeah. compete with the French yes. uh, on their, on their, in their backyard, yeah. in their Votre Jardin, yeah. uh, with our cars, which are slightly heavier because our events are slightly Both, rougher. Yeah. Uh, but we are getting very close to them. Yeah, that, that what, 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 what in the background is one of the top engine designers' well, vehicles. Yeah, that, that's uh, Vincent, a great engine yeah, builder. Uh, he's not very good at cornering at Goodwood. <laughs> However, I, I raced a few later. years ago with a Wankel engine, but yeah. he's running a triple rotary where we had just a twin rotary. The power that they produce, the noise they make, and the all-round performance, and the less than one mile to the gallon that we yeah. get from these engines is truly spectacular. Yeah, well that massive, I mean it's a triple rotor full on, it's just, it, it will rev to infinity and beyond. But the man is a genius. But we've got genius all the way through the sport, and I think that's something that maybe doesn't come out enough, is that this sport has evolved and uh, designed, developed and bought on vehicle, manufacture and design across the board, and things that we've seen coming to the sport have been taken on forward. People like Trevor Milner designing all the drive trains for the Bond cars. We've got people like um, Rob Butler now doing the Man From U.N.C.L.E. vehicles. There's a lot of engineering technology out there, but everybody's so quiet about it. That's what I love about it. Well, we're not quite unassuming, apart from myself, because I'm just a, <laughs> an off-road racing legend. Let's rock. <laughs> let's rock. <laughs> But, but you absolutely are. But Brian, you're going to have an absolute hoot out there. Everybody calls you Huggy. Huggy, yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's just everybody knows you. Even so, my mother started calling me it now. Quite right, too. <laughs> so, uh, did he say, oh, I went. Hugs, so you're going to be out there over the weekend. Yes, having a, we're having a ball. Taking part in the shoes out? Yes, of course. Good job. Look after Robin's car. I will most sure certainly. I'll look after myself because we're getting married next week. Of course, Gainer. Uh, and the beautiful Gainer, yes. Oh, Soon to be lovely. Mrs. Farmer. She's got a week to change her mind. No, so I haven't got an invite yet. I'll just throw that in there. But Brian Farmer, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. As always, good yeah, to see you. Yeah, thank you so much. And thanks for your time. And Brilliant. we'll Absolutely keep no keeping an eye on you out there. Yeah, OK, thank you. Thank you very much. Come on, hey?
my character. <laughs> Huggy out the wheel. Um, Warrior, one of the names. A take on it, you parallel. A great car. Indeed, we've got vehicles on all sides absolutely screaming through. It doesn't get any better than this. Goodwood Festival Speeds 2018 has certainly sprung to life. Let's have you head to up vehicle setter upper and builder and uh, he spent some time setting his vehicle up to absolutely optimize everything so, so he's proved it both in france and in, in the uk very consistent results <laughs> Time to good race, so 2.25, 2.26, it's slower, 2.27. Ooh, a bit slower there. 2.35. Huggy! <laughs> well, there's a bit of work to make up there. 2.35. 